<laughs> you have two. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to the start of a new vlog. It's been so long since I've vlogged. Hopefully it doesn't feel too long to you, but I haven't vlogged now in over half a month um, because I had to leave town for some family stuff and now I'm sick and blah, blah, blah. It's just been like a whole thing. So I'm back. I still don't have a voice. I've got like the flu or something <laughs> and I feel totally out of it in my head, but I did want to pop on and just get this started because I've missed you guys and hopefully you've missed me too. Um, it's really fun hanging out on here. I feel like more of us are getting to chat. So if you are new here, I'm Morgan. I'd love for you to hit subscribe if you enjoy hanging out through this video. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here again. Um, what would be really great is if you could hit like and even drop a comment to let me know how you feel about this video because I just want to make sure that these are fun for you, there's something you enjoy watching. I want it to really feel like we're just hanging out, going about our week, doing our thing, and I'd always like to include more things you'd like to see. So this week, it's already Tuesday. Yesterday was a work day, but basically a write-off. I had absolutely no voice. Um, today, I'm supposed to be starting up a new semester of ballet. I'm still in the two classes, I believe, a slightly higher level and then a beginner class, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go because I really don't feel very good still, and I'm very sad about that. So <sighs> it's a bummer. Um, I worked out of town all of last week. Like I said, I was visiting some family, and I still haven't been back in the office this week because I'm sick. So I feel really out of my routine. I feel kind of chaotic. Um, I'm happy to be back in Calgary. It's really great to be back here, but I, I'm like not back into my totally normal life yet being sick. So it's a huge bummer. <laughs> We're going to get through it. I think this is the sixth time I've been sick since about December. This will get better. I think I'm on the mend. I just, my voice still sucks. I've got podcast recording later this week, so I need it to like figure itself out. Um, and if I magically heal up for ballet tonight or tomorrow, that'd be great, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So we will see. Welcome back. <laughs> it's gonna be a new vlog. Don't mind my kettle in the background, I'm making new citron. There's definitely gonna be a haul at some point in this video because your girl's been shopping, but I wanted to show you something I'm returning in case you like it, maybe it works for you. I just, my feet are too wide and these didn't quite work, but aren't those so cute? A little summer, almost kitten heel, cute sandal. See how low though the straps are to the foot bed? My feet are. A little too big for this but that's fine um i've actually ordered a slightly different style of this type of shoe in black and we'll see if that works but the green was fun if they weren't if they weren't the price they were i think these are close to like 80. oh angry um if those weren't close to like 80 90 dollars i probably would have kept them or like not kept those one i would have ordered a size up and then kept them but honestly like doing ballet and I I don't know if was I on YouTube I broke my toes twice over the past couple of years and then now doing ballet I just like value my feet <laughs> and I just don't want to do anything to like risk messing up my feet because like getting to go to ballet class is such a beautiful privilege and I love that my body can do it and obviously I'm dealing with injuries and the last thing I need is to like ruin another part of my body. I'm not like dealing with shoes that aren't comfortable and easy to wear. So I'm gonna return those, which is fine because the other ones I ordered are half the price. Maybe I'll link them. They sell kind of quick though. So we'll see when this video goes up, but I just wanted to show those because I was thinking like, imagine like 
some cool like long jeans, these little like green shoes, like a white shirt, like white button down or something. So it's just like a fun little pop of color. I just think that would be so cute for spring summer, um, but not meant for me. So there you go. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll work for you. I'll try to link them, but yeah, they're really cute. I bought some more shoes while I was in Kelowna. I've got some packages in. I've got some really fun summer dresses that have arrived, although some of them are already sold out. Like I want to share things with you guys that I buy, but so quickly things sell out. So I'll try to do a little haul when I'm feeling a little bit better and I've got more energy and um, I can show you more pieces. And if they're sold out, maybe it'll just give you some ideas. Anyway, this vlog is not off to a good start. It's Wednesday, I'm still sick. I still feel awful. My voice is sounding better, so that's good. It was like so bad for the past like week and a half already now. The fluey feeling is still here and I feel like I'm right on the cusp. So it could turn around today or it could get worse. I didn't end up going to Bali last night, which I'm pretty like pissed off about honestly, because I had to miss last week, which was the last week of the semester because of the family stuff I was um, working through and then now this week because I went on a trip. I'm sick. So now I'm missing another week, which is like four classes total, um, which is a lot of money. And that's just like a lot of, a lot to miss out on for something that to me is very high priority. So I'm a little frustrated. I'm kind of down because of it, but I'm trying to just like let myself feel better. I'm making some changes to just like my diet and my lifestyle a little bit because I feel like I've been getting sick so often and I need to like focus a little more in this area and I think I've talked a bit about this on the vlog so I'm trying to just like only cook food at home not like eat takeout just like little things eat more vegetables be really mindful of like actually getting enough water and veggies and all that good stuff but we'll just see how it goes um another thing that probably hasn't helped me is I've been biting my nails so you know, you kind of fuck around and find out. Today has been busy at work so far. I think like the way my schedule has worked out, I have a meeting every single morning, basically first thing, which is fine. It's like nice to get it over with, but sometimes I find like I'm a bit more of like an evening afternoon person. So sometimes I'm like, what is going on? But <laughs> I already had a meeting today. Then we're going into um, our new season of my boss's podcast which is a marketing podcast and I run production for it and this year we're going to try out like some new platforms we're doing some different methods to get guests on doing some different styles of topics and so I'm just kind of managing all of that right now and me and our editor I'm not the editor this year which is very exciting I like to do it but only when I actually have like the time and space to do it otherwise it just becomes another thing to do so this year I have an editor working on the team with me which is very exciting and we're about to hop into a new program we're going to use called Riverside. If you're in the podcast space you've probably heard of this one. We always use Squadcast in the past but we were finding it just was having a ton of issues with the video in particular and it just made it impossible to like produce a video version of the show so we're hoping Riverside's a better option. The quality seems better and there's a lot more features to it that are really great for like producers um as well so yes we're gonna give it a try today and just kind of see if we like it and how it's working and how it sounds and i'm working on booking guests right now i've got two booked but i need about eight so i gotta follow up with people but that's kind of it's kind of a fun part is like the chase but it's only fun if you kind of get people eventually <laughs> so i've got to work on that overall things are good lots of priorities um and everything's like pretty interesting that i'm working on so work is good um if i felt a little better i would be already starting my freelance for the week but i don't feel very good so i don't know if i'm gonna get to it or not my goal is just to like be better for friday because we record friday and i don't want to mix up our recording schedule because it will screw me so <laughs> i need it to work and then otherwise Ben's away for the next couple of nights now so I'm also hoping that I feel better later today because there's some sit down videos I'd like to film and some topics that I haven't really talked about on here before that I think would be interesting to kind of dive into so you may see those coming soon but yeah that's Wednesday that might be all you get out of me today unless I have a miraculous recovery <laughs> but I'll chat with you later The universe is officially out to get me. Can you see this? It's like, it's snowing chunks.
chunks of snow. I am pissed. I'm finally back out in the world. I'm a little bit flummy, but um, I tested myself and everything and I'm good. Um, I never had COVID, but I just made sure. And I feel pretty good and I've got lots to do today. So I'm coming into the office. I've been sick for like two weeks, y'all. So I don't think that I'm in my contagious era anymore, but um, it's fucking snowing and it's hideous out. So whatever. I got one of the Merit Gelee, I think it is, Gelee, Jelly <laughs> lips. And it's so, it's so nice. Like it's beautiful. It's not sticky. It's really smooth. The color, like when you first swipe it on, you're kind of like, did that do anything? But then it kind of warms up almost and it does something. I did get, I think this is the darkest one because I was like, well, I want a little like color. Mapleton. It's called, but it's just nice. You can see a little shine. Makes your lips look a little bit plumper, a little shiny. It's nice. It's fun. Um, I love all their products so much and I, they sent me some stuff ages ago. I don't know if I still have a code, but if I do, maybe I'll try to link it, but I just like love everything they have. Okay, I'm gonna head in here. Hearing my voice, I sound a lot worse than I feel right now. Um, I thought my voice was gonna be fine today, so I probably just need like a little bit of water. But today we're doing our live podcast. Um, I'm gonna go to the mall after because I have like a bunch of returns to make, stuff that came in while I was away. And then I think hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow, I'm gonna film a sit down video and like the haul portion of this video because I've got some really cute dresses in for summer, I've got some shorts, I got a new purse, um, and I'll just show you it all kind of at once because it's super fun. But I am wearing today a couple new things. This is an Everlane like oversized shirt but it's like i got it in a size six because that would be kind of like a normal size for me and it's massive like it's huge on ben and it's huge on me which honestly that's kind of what i wanted but i looked afterwards and i was like oh the model was wearing like a zero so um if you look into it probably i don't know it just depends what kind of fit you want but it is huge and it's very long and i love it and if i was a little shorter i'd be so cute and like shrimpy in it but it just kind of looks a little bit long on me and then i'm wearing the levi's mom jeans 80s mom jeans that i ordered a million times because one pair i ordered i wasn't sure and then the second pair i ordered the fly wouldn't sit flat and then I ordered them again because I did want them, but I didn't want the ones where the fly was kind of off center. I got those from Aritzia. So I ordered these ones just from Levi's. But yeah, okay, I gotta head in. <laughs> I just saw me vlogging. Ah. <laughs> it's snowing. I drank a Neo Citra at work. And then <laughs> I completely rewrote an email that had already been approved by a client. I'm just <laughs> getting by today, but I'm going to go get coffee and some food and I hope it will help and then we got our live show. I survived the work day. I just had a coffee fit. We love that. I'm trying to film in this different higher quality but I feel like it's making my lighting really weird. <laughs> I have been getting the nastiest breakout. It's like here, it's all down here, it's over here, it's a little bit on my nose and my cheeks. Honestly, like last week was very stressful. And then whenever I'm sick, it just doesn't help, but I hate that for me. I feel like I'm in that like gross phase of like, I just went traveling, I need to get my bangs trimmed. I feel like I'm breaking out, I got sick, I don't have tanner on, um, I haven't been to the gym in a while, I haven't been to ballet in a while, and I just feel kind of like ugh, all over. My nails, gone. <laughs> don't exist anymore. My coworker Mel said that all her nails looked like a thumb, and that's me right now. It's just so nasty, and I just feel like kind of gross all over. So tonight, I'm just at the mall right now. We love it. Um, I've got a few returns to make and then I'm gonna go home and potentially film a sit down video and possibly film the haul part of this video. We'll see. Do some more cleaning and like getting myself together kind of stuff and freelance. I've got actually a lot to do. We'll see, it's about 5.30 or so right now. Um, bye.
in very exciting news, Ben today called me and was like, let's book our Italy tickets because we've been thinking about doing a trip to Italy in the fall and we booked our tickets. So it's official, we're going, we're going for just under two weeks. Um, I think we're just gonna be in Italy is the plan right now. We would love to do multiple countries, but both of us can only take off two weeks max in a row with our jobs, even though we both get more vacation time than that. So we're just gonna do that. I think it'll be manageable. It's our first like out of Canada trip together, which is so exciting. I love to travel and um, I haven't been to Europe since like 2014 or 15 now it's been like almost 10 years which is wild i'm just really really excited and i can't wait but i'm also horrified at how much money i've spent so now i'm going to go do some returns you pig and i'm gonna try not to buy anything but i do have like 150 dollars in mall gift cards so even if i do buy something I guess I can use that. I just problem solved it for myself. I've been wanting to buy some like runners for the summer. I like the Adidas gazelles and like I've seen some really fun colors, but I don't know if I genuinely like wear them. So then I saw the ones that are like blue and white and I really like those, but I don't know if I'd find them anywhere or in the mall. I think that's that. Work was fun. It was good to see everybody. I feel pretty good now, but I definitely need another like day or two to be like fully back to normal. Um, but I've got podcast recording tomorrow. I actually haven't heard from my clients, so I should check in. I feel a little chaotic. <laughs> the more I'm talking, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it together. But it just feels good to like be back in the office, back vlogging, back hanging out with you again. And um, I missed y'all. So it's just nice to be here. And I hope it's fun for you. But yeah, I should get in there. I'm fleeing from the mall because the fire alarm's going off. And also it's about 6.30. So I did my returns. I had a return at Dynamite, one at Zara, and one at Levi's. Got back over $200. Love that for me. Um, some of the things were just things I bought different sizes. Like these pants I bought a couple sizes. So it was money that I wasn't really going to spend anyway. Um, but I returned those items. And then... Now... I did have a gift card and it covered what I bought and I'll show you when I got home, but I found this beautiful gray sweater. It's cashmere and merino wool, originally $330 and it was $80. So I still have a lot of gift cards left and I got a beautiful sweater and I've really wanted something gray for a very, very long time. And you'll see, I'll explain why it's like so perfect, but I got the extra large and there was also a large and I like literally spent probably 20 minutes putting them on back and forth. I do think the large was more classically flattering on me and it had a perhaps a better shape, but this one just has like the perfect cozy feel. And I'm like, oh, I can just picture myself so, so cozy in it. I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow, um, but I'll show you when I get home. I'm gonna leave now before fire trucks show up, if they do, and hopefully there isn't like parking lot chaos. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna go with this lighting. Hopefully that's okay. Um, and just forewarning that I'm not gonna do a try on because I just like still feel kind of sick and I can't do it today, but hopefully you'll get the idea. But I did wanna show you, I was telling you earlier in the vlog that I bought the world's biggest shirt. <laughs> this is her. And I think it's gonna be really fun in the summer with shorts and whatever. It's from Everlane. It was on sale. Um, and it just feels really nice. I wore it with a long sleeve today because I woke up and it was snowing. So I love that. Um, I've got a few things to show you. I'm gonna show you a couple of bags first because I think that that's really fun. I've been in my bag era, um, which is not the best for my closet space, but I've been just finding a lot of like good things online. And I'm at Winners online, there's been a lot of sales um, and I've just been upgrading. So, I showed you a long time ago the Bayes bag that I've been using for work and I love it. I do absolutely love it. But then I saw this online. It is a Roots messenger bag. It is leather and it's just, I think it's just beautiful. It's looking pretty true to color on there, perhaps like the tiniest bit darker than it is in real life, but I just love it. It's already starting to get some little like scuff marks as the leather is wearing it's super soft oh yeah it's got a ton here too <laughs> and i like that i think that that's like cool it adds character at a certain point you kind of need it to just like either be like really fucked up or like perfect you know so i like that leather kind of scuffs up like that i think this is gonna last me a very long time it's beautiful has amazing pouches and it's just been really fun for work um something a little different than bringing my 
a bigger bag all the time. Fossil was also doing a sale. I picked up this bag. I was just like obsessed with this cord leather that they have. It's just really, I don't know, it's really unique to me. It feels very 70s um, and it's just super fun. And this is just like a little flap. And I like that everything like locks closed because then I don't lose things. And then this one is a winner's find. Um, I'm done buying purses. I'm done. I'm set for, <laughs> for a good long time. Uh, but this was just, this was hard to pass up, but also it was a big struggle between this shape and one that was square. So it looks like this. It's a tan leather. It's looking a little more yellow to you than it does to me but it's just this, it's stuffed with um, the paper still. It's like a light tan leather. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's looking quite a bit more yellow on camera, um, but it's by American, American Leather Co. And I see their bags at Winners all the time and they're usually like really expensive, but they had a couple in clearance, this exact color and this one and then the square one. And now I would say the square one would be more useful like every day and it would be one that would like never go out of style. It's not really trendy um, and it was very cute, but I already own a leather square bag. I think I have two and I don't own anything this shape and it just was giving me like a boho summer. It feels fun to kind of carry. So I thought that would just be something unique and interesting. And if I could have both, I probably would because I just love light leather like that. And it's hard to find. But anyway, that's what I got. OK, clothing. Let's get into it. I've got a few things to share that I bought, a couple of things I was given and hopefully it'll give you some fun summer ideas. So let's do dynamite and two things from dynamite. Um, I got this. Well, this is drying beside me, but you've already seen this. I have this long black skirt from them. That's like just amazing. Every time I wear it, I get a million compliments. I love it. And so I figured why not try another skirt? So I got this one. It's white. It's got stretchy waistband, has the slit in the back and it's like double lined. Sorry that this is literally so bright. There you go. And I'm picturing me wearing this in the summer, maybe with my little bag. I just think that was really cute. It's not my complete favorite pattern, but I think for a white skirt, you kind of want a little texture like that to like break up the illusion a little. And it's not see-through, at least from what I could tell. And it's very similar to the black one, but just white and a thicker fabric. So I love that. And then this I grabbed from Dynamite as well. And I don't know if they still have this, but it's this type of top. It's a rib dress. And I think I got it because it was going around as being some sort of skims dupe. And whenever someone tells me something's a skims dupe, I grab it, even though like I have never worn the skims dress that I own. So love that for me. Okay, and then I haven't tried these on yet, so we'll see. These are from H&M. I think they were like $30. They look basically like the effortless shorts from Maritzia. I'm hoping for the summer these will work for me. Gotta try them on. Um, but they feel fine. They're like similar fabric and way cheaper. And the effortless shorts actually like look bad on me. So that is good. Um, one thing from Aritzia, I've been cutting down my Aritzia. I'm not like a summer spring shopper usually. I grabbed a couple skirts here and a couple dresses because I know I'll wear them. Um, but I'm not usually into like all the boho tops and like everything, even though I'm sure it would be really cute. I just feel like I don't get the wear out of it in Calgary. So like you'll see me go hard in the winter and in the fall, I'll be like all over sweaters and everything. And then I'll just kind of be like, it's boring to me now, but I did get this. It's the Corelli dress. This basically sold out immediately and I've kept the tags on because I'm gonna just keep checking if potentially a small comes up because I got a medium and it does fit really well in like the body, but it doesn't quite fit in the boobs and it's a tube dress. I guess I should show you what it is. <laughs> Just a little tube dress, no slit or anything with this one. Also probably like a skim stoop type of thing, but the way the tube dress is done, there's no um, rubber. So when I was like moving around, it like kind of slips. And so I'm like, okay, 
totally fine if I'm just like puttering around the house, but like I'd like to be able to wear this out and like do more with it. So I'm keeping the tags on for a minute just to see if it comes in a small and I could like compare. And then um, if it doesn't come up, I'm gonna keep it because I still love it. And I was thinking of potentially adding in something little rubber myself maybe. And then this is from Gap, but it's actually from my mom. She gave this to me when I was visiting my family. Um, she doesn't wear it anymore. But look at this gray. It's like a gray shacket. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do a try on haul in the future. Um, it's a gray shacket and it's just really comfortable. And again, just really nice. Okay, one more thing. That's all, hey. This is what I bought today. Oh, cutter. My phone storage keeps cutting me off. So I'm just gonna show you the sweater and then I'm gonna go eat. Um, I went to Banana Republic. I'd recommend going there. I went on a whole rant in the last video about how their stuff's nice quality and they have really good sales. But anyway, basically I love their sales and the pieces I bought from there lasted a very long time and are made of nice fabrics. This for example is merino wool and cashmere, which is really nice. So it'll be very warm. Cute. I love the sleeves like this. I've wanted a sweater with sleeves like this for so long, but they're usually hundreds of dollars like this one originally was. It was $3.30. Uh, they're sewn in the side, which is nice. It's not just like a little loop. It's actually reinforced and it's just so like squishy and soft and nice. And um, I got this. This one is the extra large. I also had, they had the large in the sale too. I tried both on. The large looked a little better in the body, sure, but I loved that the extra large had like the even longer, like that's a pretty long sleeve. So on me, it's like down to here-ish, which is perfect. So I'm very excited for that. I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow. It's so soft, it's so cozy. And with those fabrics, I know it's going to last a long time. So that's my little haul. I hope it was fun to watch. Um, I'd love to know what you're picking up for the summer, if you're picking up anything. I'm all wrapped. We recorded two episodes today. One was about imposter syndrome and the other one was about the science of communication, which was quite interesting. We're gonna go to the zoo today. But first we need burgers. It's Saturday and we're going to the zoo. We just devoured a ton of Inglewood Drive-In. And it's a nice day, so it's kind of just like an excuse to wander around, but also see a penguin. Look at her doing her little spin. Now we're heading to get a beer at Dandy, which is a different place than we usually go. And I actually don't think we've been here since my friend's wedding. Hi, okay, let's see if my phone actually lets me record. I've been struggling to vlog this week because my phone has no storage and it's like so angry. Anyway, I'm at the mall again because I didn't do all the returns I needed to the other day. And so I'm back to finish them up before the week starts and before they expire and I can't do them anymore. But it's been a good day so far. We had the most fun day yesterday. We woke up, we went to the Inglewood Drive-In which if you know, you know, best burgers, best chili cheese dogs, just best vibe for like a small place like that in Calgary. And it's just like our absolute favorite. We just have like traditions of going there. So we went there and then afterwards we went over to the zoo and used our memberships for the first time, um, which was really cute. We also found out that you can drink at the zoo. We didn't, but that's like interesting to know. And um, we went, looked at everything, and then got a little soft serve ice cream and headed out. And then we went to Dandy, which I think I have a clip of, and got a beer. And then went home and I crashed. And then um, we watched the end of Daisy Jones and the Six because we were watching that together. And it was so beautiful. I cried at the end. It was just lovely. I'd read the book too, and I feel like the show did a really good job. 
And then I started Marvelous Mrs. Maisel because I'm on Prime now, I guess. I've heard people talk about it. I always thought it was like a superhero show, but I guess not. But I'm so happy that I'm not feeling sick anymore. I'm still like the tiniest bit like brain fogged, which I don't love and tired, but I'm hoping that goes away in the next couple of days. I don't have a sore throat anymore at all. My voice is back. I've been able to like sing for the first time in a while. I don't sing like with anybody for anything, but I do just love to sing and I sing all the time. So the fact that I haven't been able to, it's like a huge stress release for me and not being able to just feels weird like i don't feel like myself so i was able to sing drive it over here and that was just so nice and now i'm here to do some returns and then i think we might go grocery shopping later so all very exciting things but i'm honestly just so excited to be vlogging again this vlog hopefully was okay i feel like i felt a little awkward getting used to it again after two weeks off and just like being in a pretty stressful situation the last few weeks it feels like after that and then getting sick i'm starting to finally feel like myself again so i'm just really excited to be back i hope you enjoyed this one and i'm gonna hopefully film those sit downs that i've been thinking about this week i have a couple ideas in mind that i think some of you will find really helpful to chat about so that's gonna be coming soon if you want to make sure you're notified for future videos just make sure you're subscribed i think there's that like notification bell thing too but um i find like youtube's pretty good at just showing you the people you're subscribed to in your feed these days uh and otherwise you can always come over to instagram too because i post a lot about what's going on with youtube there as well and especially when i've been missing for a couple of weeks that's the place to go to kind of figure out where i'm at but yeah i think i'll end this one but i'll be back tomorrow vlogging i'm probably gonna go to the office tomorrow i think so i'm gonna try to just like do a lot this week so that there's fun stuff to show you i'm going back to ballet this week and life is back on track i love it it's been great to hang out with you this week i hope you enjoyed it and yeah i'll be back very soon ah! i don't know i'm just very happy so happy to be back i missed you all right bye